Thanks for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Still some cloudiness here in the uh, Fargo-Moorhead area. You see some lower clouds there making their way on through. And good news is no precipitation. However, a lot of the roadways still on the damp to wet side. And they'll dry on out nicely as we head through the rest of this morning once the sun comes on up. 70 degrees, winds out of the northwest at around 5 miles per hour. Today's winds will stay rather light. 63 degrees in Jamestown, 64 Valley City and Langdon. Over towards the east, lots of 60s. In fact, the only 70 is that one here in Fargo. 61 degrees in Bedez, 63 in Bemidji, 68 degrees in Detroit Lakes, as well as in the Wapaton Breckenridge area. I mentioned the winds, and we have seen some gustier winds up near the uh, Grand Forks area. This some of the outflow on the backside of some rapidly weakening showers and storms well off to our east. And variable winds this morning. Light winds as we head through this afternoon, primarily around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Yesterday, though, we saw some damaging winds in a few locations, and we saw some sizable hail up to the size of golf balls and even larger, especially around the uh, Ellendale area where we saw some very large hail. And we also saw quite a bit of flooding rains across much of the uh, Southern Valley, several inches of rain in most locations, and the hardest hit the Dickey County area, 5 to 10 inches of rain across that region. And they're still reporting many roads and highways underwater. So if you are traveling across the Southern Valley, you may encounter some flooding, especially in the Dickey County area, where you may encounter some of those roads covered with water. And if you do encounter that, you want to turn around, find yourself an alternate route. Lots of clouds for now, up and down the Red River Valley, especially and points off towards the east. But we'll see some decreasing clouds today. We'll see some sunshine later on this afternoon. A nice change after yesterday's rather stormy day, especially across the Southern Valley. Underneath these clouds, rain showers off towards the east, rapidly diminishing. And that'll be the trend as we head through the next few hours. We'll see these rain showers go on away, we'll get a chance to dry on out, not only later on today, but right on through Friday, Saturday, and potentially Sunday, some dry days, some welcome news for some uh, soggy areas across much of the region. That will continue to push on out as we head through the next few hours off towards the south. Very strong thunderstorms on an arc from just south of the uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul area to northwest uh, Iowa, just south of the Sioux Falls area. Flash flood warnings continue for parts of southwestern Minnesota. Those storms will continue to push on away. We'll continue to see decreasing clouds as we head through the rest of the day. Across the national map, some showers and some thunderstorms. Just a few up and down the Rocky Mountains, off towards the east. Quiet, just a few showers, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and some showers across the southeastern U.S. Those will become more numerous with the heat of the day later on this afternoon. As we head through the day, decreasing clouds, decreasing chances for some precipitation, more sunshine, a pretty nice day warming on up into the 70s and 80s with a mix of clouds and sunshine. As we head through the overnight hours tonight, look for more decreasing clouds becoming mostly clear. And again, Perseid meteor shower peaks tonight. You normally see anywhere from, oh, about 80 to 100 meteors per hour. But tonight, it's a little bit higher, double that, 160 to 200 meteors per hour. So get away from city lights and take a gander. You could see quite a few meteors as we head through the overnight hours. Tomorrow, cooler with some northerly breezes and a bit more cloud cover across the northern valley with a few sprinkles possible there as well. Most of us, though, will stay dry. Today, decreasing clouds and precipitation, mid-80s. Tomorrow, some upper 70s. We'll continue with some upper 70s on your Saturday, warming it up just a bit on your Sunday. Some low 80s, mid-80s. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and it looks dry later today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Maybe an isolated storm possible Sunday. Better chances for a few showers and storms as we head through your Tuesday and Wednesday. Overnight lows in the 50s and 60s. Yeah, nice uh, sleeping weather if you oh, throw open the windows. Beautiful sleeping weather, yeah. Thank you, Robert. Mm -hmm. It's a big weekend for fans of the UND Fighting Hawks. That's right, the brand new Fighting Hawks gear will soon be available for purchase just a couple of days away. We've got a little sneak preview coming up this morning. We'll check in with the Valley Today's Christy Larson up next.